Hey everybody, how's it going? Diecast more here, and today we're going to be going over this new enclosure that I got from Digger Lid. Uh, it's a universal fit cover that fits anywhere from a um, smaller U17 mini excavator all the way up to a U25 size mini excavator currently. Um, as you can see right now, I have everything rolled up so that you can have the most open operating experience with it. Um, in the next clip, you'll see uh, me going through what it looks like from the operator's perspective on the inside of the cab, um, which it's very, very easy to see where you're looking and uh, everything like that. So next, you'll see me uh, taking the phone off the tripod and we'll uh, go over some of the other features. All right, so first and foremost, going around, you'll notice there's all of these Velcro straps that you can tighten the digger lid to your mini excavator with. Uh, like I said, because it is a universal type fit, you'll have some instances like this where you might not be able to get the strap around part of your uh, canopy. It's kind of to be expected in some instances, but uh, it's not the end of the world by any stretch. You can see over here on this side again, we've got more of the uh, Velcro loops there that help to keep everything uh, closed up. And One other feature that you'll notice is new on the Pro enclosure is that it's got this clear bottom section so that you can see all the way down uh, to your boom and stick, uh, even if you're doing uh, digging work down uh, below the tracks. It makes uh, visualizing where your bucket and everything is quite easy all right so uh i understand that this is obviously from uh camera's perspective and doesn't really do quite justice to what it looks like in real life but as you can see i can see right down here to my uh pin right there very easily um out the side uh, as you can tell with it being this clear material, it, it does get a little distorted. However, it's not enough of a problem to where you can't see what's going on around you. Obviously, you can see down there, there's my track, easily visible, no problems whatsoever. Out the back, same thing, uh, really no issues with visibility. You can see my blade down there, and you can also uh, see a little bit more around you. but. Visibility out the back, no issues whatsoever. Um, obviously, out the side, we have no visibility issues whatsoever with the side rolled up. Um, however, I can very easily uh, roll this side down. There's just a zipper on the back side back here, a zipper right here. Uh, obviously, with the front, it's the same thing. There's a zipper over here, a zipper over here, and two straps that keep everything up and out of your face. Um, all you have to do is pull those two straps and uh, everything will get closed up. So um, next what I'm gonna go ahead and show you is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this side pulled down, zipped up, and uh, I'll show you again what it looks like from the inside of the operator's cab with the closure completely enclosed. All right, guys, we're back in the cab. We do have the side panel all the way down now. And as you can see, visibility is uh, very similar to how it was on the, uh, the other side. It's really a non-issue. On the entry side, you do have a little bit of uh, an air gap here. So, um, you know, you will get an occasional gust through here, but it also gives you a little bit of uh, eye eyesight down to your tracks there as well. Um, you can tighten that up with these straps on the back. I just have them a little bit loose right now because I'm getting ready to have to take my enclosure off because I am traveling with it, which is another note. Uh, if you do end up purchasing a digger lid, you will go ahead and need to take it off for transport. They, uh, they recommend you pulling it off just because uh, if anything were to happen, uh, you know, they, they just can't quite uh, cover everybody, especially if you're going 100 miles an hour down the interstate with your mini excavator. So that's just one other little note to keep in mind. 
Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like from the inside, guys. Uh, unfortunately, there are some people that might complain that uh, this front won't come all the way up to the to the top. Um, I understand completely why they did that. Um, if you didn't have this open area right here, it would be like looking through a, a shower curtain almost. It would just be a little unsafe, a little distorted, and uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to perfectly see what you needed to in certain instances. So uh, that's one thing that some people might note. Uh, however, it's not an issue for me. Um, one other thing you'll notice that my Bobcat here does not have a crossbar, so I cannot use uh, these straps, unfortunately. Um, there are, you know, there are a couple of sacrifices that have to be made on a universal fit type system like this. However, um, in my opinion, the quality and the corners that had to uh, quote unquote be cut to make it fit for everybody uh, were not that big of a deal at all. Um, everything here is totally livable and I have no, uh, no qualms with it whatsoever. I'm also glad that my Bobcat light kit works well with the, uh, the canopy rolled up, uh, not the canopy, but the front cover rolled up there. And, uh, that's really, really nice. No issues at all with the, uh, cover after a couple weeks of running through the woods with it. As you can see, I've got my chainsaw there, the chipper there, and we've been doing some, uh, some logging out in the woods and stuff. And so, uh, no, no branches have penetrated through the, uh, the clear part or the, the rubber, uh, outside portion. The zippers all seem to be working really, really well. I'm a, I'm a stickler for zippers. Um, those all seem to be holding up great. Um, I really have no complaints. So next view, I'm going to completely close the cab up um, so that it's uh, put away for storage, so to speak. And um, so that's what you'll see me in the next clip. All right, guys. So as you can see in this, uh, this configuration, it is completely closed up and protected from the elements. Um, you know, obviously somebody could come up and unzip it and uh, do whatever they wanted. However, the elements uh, in terms of rain, UV, sun, are not going to be uh, wearing on your seat and your controls. Um, everything is just, you know, nicely sealed up, covered up, protected. And, uh, you know, on a thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 machine like this, you absolutely want to try to do your best to protect your investment the best that you possibly can. So final, final thoughts. I love it. I, uh, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. And with that being said, I am, uh, able to offer anybody that wants one, a 5% discount. If you'll use the discount code kale Schindler in all caps, I will leave a link to where to purchase along with the discount code in the description and in the comments. So you can click on that um, in either place. I'll probably also try to throw some words up on the screen for those of you that don't wanna go to the effort of looking for that. But yep, 5% off um, on this digger lid. Um, huge, huge uh, value in my opinion. If you're working in the winter or in the uh, just rainy conditions, um, I'm not a cold weather guy, so this is going to really make operating so much better for me in the colder months that we're just now getting in. So I uh, I can't recommend it enough. Digger Lid has awesome customer service. The product is awesome. The quality is awesome. Uh, they've got more. Uh, they've got more products than just this. They have uh, seat covers, engine covers, uh, large skid steer covers, mini uh, mini skid steer covers. Um, they have a, a decent array of products. So uh, I would definitely recommend checking them out. And uh, like I said, we're, uh, we're an affiliate for them now. So uh, anybody, that, uh, anybody that purchases using our link or our discount code uh, helps us out that little bit. So it would be greatly appreciated if, uh, if you're thinking about getting one to uh, consider using our link. Uh, with that being said, guys, this is gonna wrap up this review. 
Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. Hope it was informative for some of you that maybe were on the fence about something like this or weren't aware something like this existed. Um, but if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to answer them. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.